24 HRS after cops make big bust in Cali fire that killed 41, they make second sick discovery, Trump's livid. Congratulations Governor Brown, you and your liberal enablers have finally gotten your wish and turned our once beautiful golden state, who produced Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan, into a third world crime infested cesspool, also the Democrat Party can continue to get votes. Jesus Fabian Gonzalez who was arrested Sunday on suspicion of arson in the wine country fires that have killed at least 40 residents and resulted in rendering thousands homeless is, you got it, an illegal criminal alien residing in our country. Gonzalez, who is currently homeless and reportedly known by law enforcement to have been living under a nearby bridge in Sonoma County has actually said he was cold and had lit the fire to stay warm the night. But here is the issue with his story. It was 78 degrees when he and the plume of smoke were first observed. 78 degrees is not cold, not even for us here in California. Gonzalez was booked into the Sonoma County Jail on suspicion of felony arson and his bail is currently set at $110,000 according to Sonoma County Sheriff Public Information Officer. Although the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, otherwise known as ICE has now had to issue a detainer request on the Sonoma County Jail for Jesus Fabian Gonzalez, we doubt he will be turned over to federal officials since California is officially a sanctuary state as of early last week. Freedom Daily reported. The California wildfires have been raging for quite some time which has caused unprecedented damage in the region. Now. It is important to note that fires in the Californian area are not unheard of, but they typically occur in December and January, and not October. These fires have forced thousands of residents to leave their homes in terror not knowing what they will return to when they are able. Law enforcement officials have been working tirelessly to figure out who started these horrific wildfires and it appears they may have the culprits that prove President Trump was right yet again. On Monday, Firefighters have been able to gain control of the raging wildfires in the Northern Californian area. However, even though these brave firefighters have been able to make headway in containing the fire the death toll has risen to 41. Over the last week, these raging fires have scorched more than 200,000 acres, destroyed or damaged more than 5,500 homes, and displaced 100,000 people. Though by some miracle on Sunday. The winds changed and the firefighters were able to take advantage of that situation and contain some of the fires. Now that the firefighters have been able to make some headway in these deadly fires, law enforcement has been focusing on what caused them, and what they found is shocking. As officials were studying the fires, they noticed a pattern of where the majority of them occurred. It seems that areas hardest hit by these fires were in areas within the legal marijuana business and they are now suspecting foul play. So, what does this all mean and how does this prove that President Trump was right? As stated previously law enforcement officials are suspecting that Mexican cartels started these devastating fires. The cartel does not like competition especially when it comes to making drug money and if California is now legalizing marijuana you can bet that the drug lords are not happy. These ruthless individuals will continue on their path of destruction unless there is something to stop them. What that something is would be a wall between the Mexican border and the United States to prevent these people from entering our country. There is no reason that these criminals should be allowed to sneak into America and create havoc on innocent people. These fires appear to be a message sent from the cartels to scare the legal marijuana farmers from continuing to grow their crop. Now. Whether you agree with marijuana or not is not the issue considering that these farmers have the right to grow it, and no illegals should be able to prevent it from happening. As you read above. President Trump called it. And he was right. While he is actively trying to end our problem with illegal immigration, the left, and even some on the right, are battling him every step of the way. No nation without borders can survive. We are watching a peaceful invasion taking place right before our eyes, with the help of today's Democratic Party. They know very well that if we close our borders and send illegals back home chances are they will never win another election. Even California would have a chance to turn red. Even though after the first amnesty back in 1987 no Republican presidential candidate has ever been able to win that that state again, again, 